is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is... <laughs> Song Slings and Giant Thanks, David and Goliath. Let's read. Israel's first king was named Saul. King Saul did not obey God, so God said to Samuel, the prophet, find a man named Jesse, one of his sons will be the new king. So Israel's first king was named Saul, and but Saul didn't obey God, so prophet Samuel, yesterday story, Samuel got told Samuel to find a new king for the Israel. <coughs> Samuel found Jesse in Bethlehem. He looked at seven of Jesse's sons. They looked handsome and strong. Not them. God said, I don't care about looks. I care about what is in person's heart. So Samuel found Jesse in Bethlehem. And also he looked at seven sons. And they were like all handsome. But God said, not them. I don't care about looks. I care about what's in the person's heart. Jesse sent for his youngest son, David, who was tending sheep in the field. Samuel saw him and God said, He's the one. So David was anointed to um, anoint the new king. So Jesse sent for his youngest son, David. And David was tending his sheep. And when they when he saw him, God called him, he's the one. God looks, God cares about our, what is in the person's heart. God cares more about person. Uh, God cares more about a person's look than what is in their heart. False. God more. God. God cares more about um person's heart than their look. Later, Israel fought the Palestines. A giant Palestine soldier called Girl Goliath changed a challenge the Israelites to send a champion to fight him. But the Israelites were too afraid. So sometime later, Israel fought the Palestines. And in Palestine, there was a soldier, and he was very strong and tall, so like, Israelites were afraid of Goliath. Uh, Goliath is very tall. So everyone was afraid. Question. Who did God choose to be the new king of Israel? Number one, David. Number two, 
Jesse's first star. Number three, Jesse. Number one, the secret answer. David brought food to his brothers in the army. He heard Goliath's challenge and was not afraid. How dare he defeat God's army? Asked David. I'll fight with him. So David brought his food to his brothers and he saw Goliath and like David was very and because like Goliath David said how dare he defeat God's army he really believed in God so he said I will fight him Surprised, King Saul offered David his armor. No, said David, God help me kill wild beasts. He will help me against Goliath too. David took five stones and a sling. So David knew that God will help him. So he believed in God. So David told his... David said, it's okay, I don't need the armor because God will help me. God help also help me to kill the wild beast. So he will help me when I'm fighting with God. So we have gone to a fight with five stones and slain. Am um, I a dog? God rod, Goliath rod. You sent the stick of a boy to find me? You have a spare, said David. But I have the help of Israel's God. David put a stone into the slings and threw it. It stuck Goliath's forehead and knocked him down. He, the Israelites defeat the Palestines with God's help. David was a hero. So David put a stone into the sling and threw it. It stuck on Goliath's forehead and he knocked him down with God's help. So Israelites defeat the Palestine with God's help. <laughs> Question: God helped David to kill Goliath, uh, Goliath the giant, using five stones and a sling. True. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.